Tonight, an update to an aid on your side consumer alert about a failed investment opportunity involving boy band creator Lou Pearlman. It stems from Transcontinental Airlines, a savings program that claimed to be 100% guaranteed. Senior consumer reporter Victoria Lim explains why investors believe our new governor shares the blame. The lawsuit filed in Tampa federal court accuses defendants of racketeering for losing millions of dollars for investors. Buried in the pages, Governor Charlie Crist's name appears. We believe the state of Florida was negligent in their handling of the investigation, and we believe that, that the governor and possibly the attorney general um, took donations and received money from Transcontinental, and that creates a conflict of interest for them. Investors gathered in the Sun City Center office that Lou Pearlman is going to be back on American soil and is going to have to face the music. Hoped for good news. They didn't get it. Certified financial planner Gary Cotter shared the initial findings of the receiver now in charge of transcontinental airlines. This is one of the worst cases he's ever seen in terms of potential recovery uh, that a typical scam that he works on might recover 15 cents on the dollar and he's already warned investors that this looks like it's going to be a lot less than that. Transcontinental was supposed to be a 100% guaranteed investment savings account started by pop music boy band creator Lou Pearlman. Bob Vivert invested $10,000. It was almost too good to be true and of course it wasn't. <laughs> he now knows he'll likely never see that money again. His focus has now switched to Perlman. Bringing him to justice is what we're trying to do so we can warn other people of what can happen to them. A spokesperson for the governor says he has not been served with a lawsuit, so there is no comment. The court-appointed receiver in charge of sorting out the transcontinental mess says he is looking into recovering money from Perlman's property, his cars, his belongings, possible offshore accounts, but warns it will be an arduous, time-consuming process. Gail? All right, Vicki. Also named in the lawsuit filed in federal court, several banks, Dun & Bradstreet, and employees of Transcontinental. You can read the lawsuit and see who is involved by checking out Vicki's consumer blog. To do that, go to tbo.com, keyword consumer.